Good morning, modern steaders. Starting to cool off again. 40 degrees out this morning. We had a little warm spell there for a few days. Modern Figaro. Look at all them sunflowers. Hopefully we don't get any hard frost to kill them. Starting to flower out. We didn't plant those sunflowers. We put out some goat bedding and it must have been in their poo. So it's kind of neat that they're growing already. I don't think we'll end up getting seeds from them. Modern pigs. sleeping in this morning. I wonder when the door will darken up and match the rest of the siding. You checking out all the new work in here? Oh, so much warmer in here, guys. I'm not milking later this morning because it's staying darker longer. And this cold has still got me a little sluggish. And I'll tell you what, I was surprised to find the goats were still sleeping. <laughs> yeah. So it's not just me the weather's affecting. I'm sure it's affecting a lot of y'all too. But it's also affecting the animals. I was just talking with Gina and saying, yep, it's that time of the year when we start changing up our habits because of the weather and the lighting. People have been talking about how fidgety Willow is on the milking stand and if her udder's all right, her udder's fine. She's just never been. She's a decent milker, but she just doesn't like to stand very long. And she has quite an attitude. And when she has her days where she doesn't want to be milked at all, she stands, she doesn't stand at all. And she's been that way lately. I think it's because it's that time of the year for breeding season. So she keeps coming into heat. When she does, she gets an attitude. Right, Willow? You're better today. You don't see, don't give me that look. <laughs> She's like, you're talking about me. Don't talk about me. Sorry, Willow. Milk production's back up today. I like it. So I think she was in heat the last few days when she was not standing still on the milker. And her milk production was down. And now it's almost, almost back up to where it was before fall came. Thank you, Willow. And today she's in a better mood. We got all the trim in the milking room done yesterday. I'll put a link to yesterday's video right here. We made this trim. Believe it or not, this is just made out of two by fours. And then we used liquid, liquid iron to get that color. So, this trim work right here cost us six dollars, four dollars to make, so it's really cheap, but it looks really nice. Oh, look at the view out the window. You didn't eat all your grain, Willow. You ready to get out? This way. Go for it. Go ahead. Nope. No, those are just wipes. You don't want to eat wipes. Come on in, Buttercup. I should say Blossom. Come on in, Hope. Come on in. You ladies ready for breakfast? I'll feed you up here this morning. The goats are clearing out the underbrush from that apple orchard really good. 
yeah you couldn't even see over there before they're loving it In the video, our biggest mistake, I'll put a link to that video right here. We put rubber mats in the goat barn. A lot of y'all was saying we need to do a sealer in the concrete. We heard all the comments in that and we read through a bunch and we looked at different kinds. And we thought we would start off with the ghost shield. I'll show you which one it is. We're gonna do that in the milking room right here. We're gonna seal this floor off. We're gonna use this one. It's a densifier and sealer and primer from what I understand. It's gonna penetrate. It's all natural, it's gonna penetrate the concrete, it's gonna make it stronger, and it's gonna seal it. So we're gonna try it in this area first, and then later on we can do the workshop. We wanna see how it works in here first. Leave it in the comments down below and let us know what you think about this sealer. Is this the one we should be using, shouldn't be using? I'm not sure, I've never sealed concrete before. So we're trying this one, it seems pretty simple, not less complicated than some of the other ones. And from what I've read is this is what they use in most grocery stores nowadays. They put the densifier in, it seals it, and then they polish it, which we're not doing. But if you polish it, it makes it look like glass. So we'll find out today. I'll leave a link in the video description down below for this product. We got it on Amazon, so we'll see. Let's take out the milking stand. We wanna clean this room up. Also leave it in the comments down below and let us know if you think we should polyurethane the walls, if we should paint them, if we should whitewash them. What do you think we should do? Should we leave them alone the way it is? Undecided. It looks nice the way it is right now. So it says you want the floors clean, but you don't want them wet, so I don't want a power wash. But I want to try to get up some of these heavier spots. These stuck on goat turds scrape off kind of hard. Yeah. I got all the heavy stuff off. There might still be some stains, but that's good. Right. Looks so good though. The milking room? Yeah. Yeah, it came out really nice. It's organized. It's gonna be organized. It's gonna look nice. Yep. I was thinking, uh, like a take a metal grate, like you did, like. And you can hang a hook or something, so you can hang your like um, broom, your dustpan. Yeah, you probably hang up brushes. Brushes, like scoops, well, we have a couple of different dustpans. Hoofs, hoof trimmers, all different things. You probably kind of. Well, you could put hang a basket to put your hoof trimmers yeah. and like a couple of things that don't need to be hung. I'll like, to see yeah. what we can figure out. Well, I, cool. I looked on Pinterest for a couple of things. Now we need to mix this stuff. We're gonna use a 3 8 nap roller, roll it on. And we're gonna mix it with water. We are gonna go with a two to one ratio. So it'd be one gallon of this to two gallons of water. But we don't need that much. Right. So we're gonna go eight ounces of the 4500 ghost shield and then we're going to go to 24 ounces with the water so that'll give us a two to one ratio give it a little stirry stir what are you doing there buttercup gonna mix up two to start The 
this is supposed to cover a thousand square feet. So. And this milking room is 10 by 8, so it's that 800, no, 80 square feet. So we should have more than enough. And we should have enough left over if we like it to do the workshop. Ooh, looks like we got a hole in our hand somewhere, guys. Maybe. So let's just use this for now. And we'll start. It says we want to roll it on. We don't want to, we want to have a good enough coverage so it doesn't dry out instantly. I think that last cup we have mixed up will finish the rest of this room off. That'll be nice. It's turning the wood a different color. It says you can use it on wood as a sealer also. It's curious to see what the wood looks like afterwards. We'll use it all up. There we go. I like it. Looks good. Sweep up here. Now I don't want to get right down. You don't want to get down? Oh, that sailor was a lot easier than I thought it was going to would have been. If I would have known how easy it was, I would have done it beforehand. Well, you know. No, we didn't. And I'll well, definitely have to do one here first. When, do you, it. when you're up here, you just swing your body around and climb I down. just grab onto one of those. I had to grab onto one of those? And just swing around and climb down. Seriously? No. Oh. <laughs> I knew I should make him up here. Figaro will help you. He'll show you how it's Figaro, done. Figaro, hit me. Yeah, and I didn't notice there's a big pile of leaves right here. There. You're there. You're on the ladder. You got it. Just to get myself onto it. Okay. Got to figure out. I think we got to cut the ladder. We got to figure the ladder. I think we got to cut it back. Put hinges on it, and then put a pulley system. Because I don't want. We're not going to want to leave the ladder out in the middle of the floor all the time. No, we'll just do the ladder. Well, I think the hard part with the ladder is, is if we cut it back, you won't have that part you got to get over. Uh, I never put this concrete floor it didn't do a perfect job. The floor is not completely level. I'm gonna shit the old leg. There we go.
We'll find out how good this wagon is for stacking firewood. Who's better at stacking? What's that? And who's better? Whose side falls off and whose doesn't? <laughs> Yeah, you could even just do it in the middle, like, kinda. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. It might take us a time or two, but we'll get it. Just like a pro. Last couple of pieces. Yeah. You better drive it so I don't go up Oh, you'll get her. Yeah, I bet you this is where Figaro is going to live quite a bit this winter. Good socks make all the difference in the world. Do you ever feel like going back when nothing seemed to be a drag? You're right until your legs gave way. Might as well maximize our trips. <laughs> Hey. I filled your hole in. Never had a care in the world you see. Have you heard from the sky on the valley? Down the river, high tide flows around here. Through the whispers of pines, I hear them sing. The more you love, Be nice. 
Oh. I wonder if the goats will come out or if it's raining too much for them. Tanner. Which way? Did you heard the, the duck? Why is that? How many eggs you thinking? Um, what are you doing? 13. I'm stuck. Yeah, 13. I have two broke yesterday. Two or three broke. Because right. I dropped one. So I think there was 16 to start with, and I think I broke three. Well, we got quite a few. Almost 16, I bet you. Two. Four. How many did Libby say? Oh, 16. I said 12. 12. There are, uh, we have more than 12. 12. 12. 14. 15. Did that scare you? No. 15. Yeah. How many did you get? How many is there? 15. Shoot, I was going to say 15. How many did you get? I was thinking 16. I don't know if I said it out loud, but. I was going to say 15. I lowered my expectations. You should have hired them. It's a good day for chicken noodle soup. Do you need this to stop me? No, I'm good. I'm okay. Um, I'm trying to do a straight break. Nope. This is what I'm trying to smell. Gina made a big batch of chicken broth. And we froze it. Now we've got to get it out. Sounds good. One of the things I love about this time of the year is being able to eat some hot soup, some stews, some, just some good heavy foods. Oh, it's so good. So nourishing for the body too. The soup was delicious tonight. The first of many to come for this season. I'm glad we're starting to get the woodshed filled up. Oh, with so many projects to do and just trying to juggle them all to get them all done right at the right time. Got to make sure the firewood's in. All of our building projects are done before we get snow. We'll be harvesting the pigs end of October, beginning of November. So we gotta keep that in mind. Always plenty to do. Curious to see how this sealer works in the milking room. Leave it in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. I've never used sealer before on concrete. You guys left comments before. I checked out all the different products. I thought, I guess, sealers were more like a garage floor epoxy. And that was nothing I really wanted to get into. So we'll see how this works. Let me know if we should use this in the barn stalls too, if we should use it in the workshop, if we should try something else. Um, I haven't quite decided yet. By no means am I a pro in the, at this. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us 
in our homestead and I want to challenge you again think about or stop and pay attention to how you talk about yourself throughout the day if something messes up if you do something wrong how do you handle that I know I used to always get mad at myself and talk down to myself we need to be our own cheerleaders yep we do there's only one of us and we learn from our mistakes guys so we need to go easy on ourselves and lift ourselves and each other up. Thanks for coming along on our journey list, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.